I'll tell you a great story. One night we're in Buffalo, and it's a the, the snow starts and doesn't stop. It's like Toronto because it's on the lake. It just it was piling up and piling up, and by three in the afternoon, we're saying, "How are we even going to get out of here? We're all in a Holiday Inn, right?" Right. So. I get a, we get a phone call from the, the road manager. He says, I just uh, got a phone call from the mayor's office and they want you to cancel because if you don't cancel, uh, people are going to try and get there and sure, it's, it's dangerous. dangerous. Yeah, so yeah. everything is being canceled. There's no transit. We said, great, day, night off. So Jimmy and I immediately head down to the bar and Wilson <laughs> is across the hall and he said, I'm learning some new things and he's playing his accordion, some traditional music and he's got his bottle of Irish whiskey there. Right. So he says, I'll be down in about an hour. So we're down at the pub and we have something to eat and we have a few drinks and um, the snow doesn't stop, it really doesn't. And we had to do that, so that was the right thing to do. So go finally stagger into bed that night and we go down for breakfast the next morning and Wilson's down there and he's waiting for us and he says, oh, what happened to you last night? He went, oh, he says, the strangest thing, I was sitting there playing and this young fellow walked into the room and he says, hey man, I really like that music. Do you mind if I sit and listen? I went, no, go ahead. <laughs> so he sat in the other bed and he listened and Wilson's playing this and he said, do you mind if I do a bit of poetry to that? Wilson said, no. And then he says, do you mind if I drink some of that? They ended up drinking this bottle of whiskey. Right. You know who it was? No. It was Jim Morrison of The Doors. No they way. were in the same, because we had met two of the band right. downstairs. We, we were saying, oh, so you're from The Doors? Because they had that giant hit, hit right. somebody would uh, like my fire. Yeah. What made it such a special night is Wilson didn't have a clue. He says, yeah, some young guy with this long <laughs> hair and uh, nice, nice enough chap. And But you know what? The bastard drank half oh, my, my Irish whiskey. It's all gone. <laughs> and we're saying, what was his name? He says, Jimmy something. I don't know. I didn't catch it all. But he certainly liked the music. And we sat and we chatted for three hours. It was Jim Morrison. That and probably amazing. he liked it because Wilson didn't have a clue who he was. <laughs> right, so there was yeah, no exactly. pretenses at all. Yeah. And uh, they right. weren't playing the same place as us. But they were stuck like we were. And there wasn't right. the area was um, just outside Buffalo, Tonawanda. Okay. So there wasn't, in those days, this <laughs> right. was back in probably 70s or early 70s, there yeah. wasn't too many hotels. So it was this right. big holiday inn was the only place to stay.